Before we start, YouTube is being strange lately, so, so make sure you hit the bell next to the subscription button, so you will always get notified if I upload a new video. Hello! Welcome to day 11 of my 30 day drawing challenge. If you like, you can also take part and push your creativity with this challenge. You can start whenever you like, because it's not necessary to start with the beginning of a month. You can use any medium and style you like, but try to challenge yourself from time to time. If you like, you can also show me your creations by using the hashtag HelloRambu, but you can also use this hashtag to show me your other drawings. I will put a link to the challenge in the description box, so you can simply download it or make a screenshot of it. Try to be creative every day, but if you're not in the mood to draw, it's okay. You can just continue another day. I want to push your creativity, but it's more important to have fun. Take your time to do the challenge at your own pace. And if you have any questions, just feel free to ask. In today's video I'm going to draw the seven basic emotions or rather expressions anger, contempt, fear, disgust, happiness, sadness and surprise. It's a quite interesting topic based on Paul Ekman's theory which shows that there is an evidence that these seven emotions and its expressions are universally recognized. Through his studies on expressions, he also found a key to reveal lies, just of seeing a human face. His research of deception is based on facial expression, which was a huge inspiration for the TV show Lie to Me with Tim Roth. You should definitely watch it if you find this interesting as well. So, however, the theory of basic emotions was my inspiration for creating this picture. Maybe you already have an idea with which emotions I just started. I will give you some time to guess. If you like, you can add your guess in the comment section. It would be also fun to see what specific details that you think which emotions these are. So as I said in the beginning, the basic emotions are anger, contempt, fear, disgust, happiness and surprise. And just a little hint, um, the interaction of eyebrows and the movements of the mouth gives a huge advice. So let me know in the comments what's your guess. The reason why I took this type of topic, draw at least five different expressions, is that I know that a lot of you are just like me into drawing humans. And it's easy to get stuck in drawing the same emotions like, for example, always the smiling happy girl face. And my intention of this topic is that you try to approach doing more than a happy smiling face and train your brain a bit to imagine more than this. And of course, help you to raise your abilities. So what happens is that you repeat the same flat face. Like, the sadness is just lowered corners of the mouth and big overflowing eyes. The inner corners of the eyebrows are raised. But there's so much more what's happening. For example, if we are smiling, it's not like a typical smiling face like a WhatsApp emoji. Yeah, even those have more diversities yet. But what I'm trying to say is that we don't smile like that typical uh, like that typical smiley emoji, right? Just straight wide open eyes and raised corners of the mouth. That's not what a smiling or happy face looks like. It's not that simple. 
Okay, let's stay with the example of a smiling face. Smiling faces are always different based on how much happiness we feel. Being sad is also not always breaking out in tears, you know. When we are smiling, most of the time the muscles around our eyes get tightened. Sometimes we are showing teeth. We get little wrinkles and our cheeks are raised. Sometimes we do have a crooked smile, like raising one corner of the mouth more than the other. Or we are closing our eyes. Even our eyebrows do always different things. Sometimes it's... <laughs> sometimes it's like a bitch please meme. Yeah, eyebrows pulled up and pressed together. So try to think in reality and if you're sitting in a cafe, try to look around and observe the expressions of the people around you and you will see a smile is not only a smile and that a lot more things happen in a face if we are smiling. So if you're drawing characters, try to remember these little things and go into detail. Okay, so I'm not sure if this little crash course was a bit helpful, so if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments what your thoughts are. And I think that's all for now. So thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye bye!